y'all it's your girl Sonia welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome to my family and if you are a returning family member welcome back y'all know I love when y'all come to visit so y'all happy vlogmas day 17 I think it's 17 I think it's 17 anyway happy vlogmas day 17 y'all today I am doing tips for how to survive vlogmas I wish I would have taken my own tips however I did not so don't be like me and do any of the stuff that I'm going to name or not do the stuff that I'm going to name on this list because you're going to be just like I am this year trying to get myself together and recording videos absolutely late and uploading them late as well. So the first tip that I have for you guys is make a commitment to finish your vlogmas because your subscribers are going to be counting on you. As soon as you say that you are going to be doing Vlogmas, they're gonna be waiting to see what it is you're going to be posted. I know this has happened to me. I've had DMs and text messages trying to figure out what my next video is going to be. So if you guys are going to do Vlogmas, please commit to doing it. I have committed to doing it. Um, I'm just a little bit late, especially on this video. But if you guys are going to do it, just make sure to keep your subscribers happy that you're going to stick to it. Even if you have to do a schedule, if you're going to do 12 days of Christmas or you're going to do Vlogmas every other day or you're going to do Vlogmas Monday, Wednesday and Friday or only on the weekend. If you commit to it and you don't want to do every day, days 1 through 25 of December, you know, let them know, hey, I'm only going to be doing Vlogmas on Mondays and Thursdays or what have you. So they know not to look for you every day because it's going to be a little bit of backlash. I'm pretty sure if they don't see you posting a video every day, you skip a couple days and then you post another video. It's because they were um, unaware of the days that you were actually going to be posting videos. So just commit to it, y'all. The next thing... Whew, I should, I should take my own advice, but this is my own advice. I will be doing this next year. Um, start doing your videos early, maybe a week or two ahead of time um, before December 1st. So if you have extra time a week or two in, you know, after Thanksgiving or I'm sorry, before Thanksgiving, or if you're going to do it um, after Thanksgiving, do a couple videos here and there. That would be great. Um, to kind of get a head start on what you're going to be doing because trust me recording every day like I have been doing is a pain in the butt and sometimes very stressful um, some videos I've recorded like three and four at a time so I kind of gave myself a heads up or not a heads up um, a little bit of leeway but most of my videos I've been recording every day y'all so don't be like me and record every day get as many of them as you can out um, as soon as you can the next tip I have is to write a list of the things you want to do. Start as early as November. Start compiling a list of the places you want to go, the things you want to do. If you're going to do crafts, what kind of crafts are you going to do? If you're going to cook, what are you cooking? If you're going to bake, what are you baking? Make a list of these things so you know ahead of time what you want to do and possibly what days you're going to do it. So if you know, okay, day six, I'm going to bake a cake. Make sure you write that on your list so you know, okay, today's day five, tomorrow's day six, I'm baking a cake. You already know what you're doing tomorrow, so it'll be it'll be great. You'll have a heads up on what you're doing. The next tip is leave the bloopers in your videos. So if you're doing something and you happen to fall or something like that, keep it in the video. It's a vlog. People like to see you doing what you do. They don't want to see everything all edited and, you know, perfected vlogs are to be you know just what you do you know they don't have to be edited all the time now if your video like an hour long like one of mine was I had to um of course edit my video but if it's not just leave it in there we love to see bloopers we like to laugh the next tip I have is um everything don't have to be about Christmas y'all you can do some things for Christmas and some things you can just do the day in the life of, you know, get up, do your face routine, go to work, do various things. People like to see what you do in your life. So everything does not have to be about Christmas, y'all. The next tip is, and I should have really done this earlier, but I thought I could wing it. Search for Vlogmas ideas, especially if you don't know what you're going to be doing. I should have definitely done this 
I um, I winged it this year on the things that I'm going to do. Um, I could really kind of go back and look at some of those videos, but I already, I've already written down what I'm going to do um, for the rest of the time of Vlogmas. So I won't probably be looking at those videos, but if I would have thought about it earlier, I would have researched some other um, maybe content creators to see what kind of things they've done in the past years, you know, that maybe give me a push or give me like some type of heads up. Oh, I can do that. So, you know, if you guys can, can research the different type of uh, vlogmas ideas that people have been doing. This is a big one. Upload your videos ahead of time. A couple of my videos I have had issues with. One video I uploaded, the video I think was about 12 minutes. It took me six hours to upload this video. I think I ended up premiering that video at like 3.30 or 4 in the morning just to kind of stay on track because I knew if I didn't, it was going to throw me off. So I went ahead and pushed it even though it was the next day. So if at all costs, if you can get them recorded, if you need to edit, go ahead and edit them and upload it that would be great it would save you a lot of time trust me i was so stressed out this particular night because i didn't know if my video was going to upload um within a, a particular time i thought i was going to premiere it that morning and then premiere my next one the, that afternoon so if y'all can upload them early that'll save you a lot of time and stress the next tip is make your thumbnails ahead of time if you can if you know what you're going to be doing if you know you're going to do a bake with me or you're going to go see Christmas lights, try to get your thumbnails done and out of the way so you don't have to worry about anything except uploading your videos and just attaching your thumbnail to the video. It'll save you a lot of time, trust me. The next tip is if you're going to edit, don't wait until the last minute. So if you know you're going to premiere this video in an hour or you want to premiere in an hour, but you haven't edited it yet, it ain't gonna work for you. Trust me. Um, this is not a tip that I personally made. I mean, uh, a mistake that I personally made because everybody that knows me knows that I usually don't edit. But um, I figured I would include this tip because I do see other people trying to edit right before they want to premiere and it never works out for them. So if you're going to edit, try to do it ahead of time and then schedule your premiere out so that you can um, have all your stuff start in time because I've been in premieres where they're, like their videos, um, they were uploaded, but they weren't processed. So the videos didn't start on time for the premiere. The next tip is prepare your intro and have it ready. So this is another thing that's gonna save you time. If you know you wanna do like just a simple thumbnail with like some, um, some candy canes or Santa Claus or something like that, whatever it is you're gonna do, Try to make it ahead of time because it'll save you a lot of time. The next tip is don't forget to upload your um, upload your intro, your Vlogmas intro to all of your Vlogmas videos. I have done this, y'all. And um, for one reason or another, I, um, I didn't forget, but it kind of, you know, when I'm trying to put my video together, I would have to go back and add it into it because I forgot to add it at first. So just make sure all of your uh, Vlogmas videos has your Vlogmas intro. This is a big one. Get all of your supplies together for the videos that you're going to make um, for the whole Vlogmas, or if you can for the whole Vlogmas. If you're doing two or three videos in a day, whatever videos you're making, if you need supplies, make sure you have them ahead of time so that you don't have to go to the store and try and pick out or find the things that you need for that video. It's a pain in the butt. You shouldn't have to run around looking for stuff, especially this time of year. It's so hard to find anything. So just try and have all your supplies ahead of time. This also is a big one. If you are including family members or friends, make sure that they will be available. This has happened to me. <laughs> I was gonna include a couple of my friends and um, it just didn't work out. They said they were going to be available, but then they weren't available or this one was available and that one wasn't available. So if you're going to include family and friends, just make sure everybody's going to be available at the same time and day so that you can record because it'll save you a lot of trouble. The next one is 
consider the weather. I live in Florida. It rains at the drop of a hat. So if you're going to be doing an outside activity, um, say you're going to go see the lights in the neighborhood or, or something like that, and you know you're going to be vlogging, make sure you try to check the weather and see if you have rain in your forecast or snow in your forca uh, forecast for those of you where it snows. Unless you want to vlog in the snow, that's one thing, but I don't want to vlog in the rain. So I want to make sure that it's not going to be raining when I go out um, because I don't want to get wet and I don't want my video ruined. So y'all make sure y'all consider the weather when y'all are going to go out, um, out and about doing your Christmas lights and all types of things. And my last tip is try not to stress out about it, y'all, and have fun while doing it. Vlogmas is a time for you to be having fun and not to be stressed. It's, you know, it's a great time of year to have fun and spend time with family and do fun things. So just try not to be stressed about it. Try to get all your ducks in a row so that your videos are, are up to par for your Vlogmas. And that's pretty much it, y'all. You can take some of these tips. You can take all of these tips. These are things that I have learned um, from the time that I have been vlogging. Um, and next year I will be using my own tips because I don't want to get stuck like, I, you know, recording every day. I started recording like a few videos at a time and then it went to every day. So next year I definitely won't be doing that. I will be trying to do them in like increments of five, maybe a week so that I can have them ready, uploaded, so that they can be ready to premiere when I'm ready for them to premiere. So again, that's it, y'all. If you have not liked the, or if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Give me a big thumbs up, share me out, and leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. So until my next video, happy Vlogmas.